Hello, and welcome back to Feelings, Feeling, Feelings. I am your host, Dezabel Mandel, also known as Dez. I am so excited that I am putting out a second episode. I've done so many different projects where I put out one episode of something and then I just never look at it again. So me putting out the second episode is awesome. It's an awesome, awesome, awesome feeling. So thank you so much for being here and listening in. (laughs) Today we got a really, really good episode. I'm actually really proud of this episode. I brought on one of my best friends, Zachary Edwards, and he's the cutest. I love him so much. And we just always have really, really good deep talks and discussions. I'm excited to share his perspective on things with you guys. We talk about everything from our childhood drama, ooh, fun, to just becoming the best version of ourselves for ourselves. If you are listening to this podcast on Spotify, I want to let you know that I am filming each episode now. To everyone on YouTube that could see me right now, my hair is pink. I haven't been in front of a camera in so long and I feel very nervous right now. But let me stop talking and get you straight into this episode because it is a good one. I hope you learn a lot. I hope you remember to love yourself and I hope you remember to drink a lot of water because water is good for you. Enjoy! (laughs) Where's the shots? (laughs) No. One shot. No. Two shots. No. One shot for each time we say feelings. No, because then my feelings would be real deep. Okay. <laughs> we have to start with three because it already says feelings, feelings, feelings. No. <laughs> well, first off, hi. Oh, hi. Oh, yeah, I forget. Okay, okay. Hi. Welcome to Feelings, Feelings, Feelings. Today I have Zach. Hi, guys. Zachary Edwards. What's up, bitch? <laughs> Wrong house, mama. Oh. Hey, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> what did you do today? I woke up. You look up. good. Thanks. I like your makeup. Thanks. I want to do like a simple golden, but like, I like this mustardy eye right now. Yeah. So I'm like really about it and just like a natural lip. Uh-huh. So I woke up. I did like a mini little 30 minute workout just to get like the pump going, you know, burn, little burn, little yeah. dab burning. <laughs> and then I had breakfast. I had oatmeal with cinnamon, vanilla extract and almonds. Mm. It was really nice. And then I got ready. I came here. Fun. Mm-hmm. You look so handsome. I yes, actually can't stop. look at you. I feel like I, so I've been gone for like a week mm-hmm. and I saw Zach at work. But when I see Zach at work, it's not Des and Zach. Zach, yeah if that makes sense mm-hmm. like when me and zach are together like outside of work mm-hmm. we're <laughs> we're like <laughs> yeah <laughs> I don't like dying like <laughs> yeah yeah we're just like kind of crazy so like yeah i think seeing you is mm-hmm. kind of like i'm in shock a little bit because i haven't seen you in this setting in like a week or something that's true which i know that doesn't seem a lot but like me and zach see each other like almost every other day mm-hmm. so <laughs> and my hair is pink now oh yeah yeah do you guys love it pink <laughs> it's so funny because it's like I released my first episode mm. and like the cover art and it has brown hair. Oh yeah. And now I have pink hair. Well now we have to do a shoot with your pink hair. Yes. Just set the vibe. I think this is more feelings, feelings, feelings. I like it. I think it well, cause like before it was like that very like natural, like yeah. S vibe. But now it's like I mean, the pink hair just makes everything fun. Yes. You know what I mean? Because I still want everything to be natural Mm -hmm. and like uh, neutral tones and Mm -hmm. like gem tones and stuff like that. Gem tones? Gem tones. Jewel tones. Jewel tones. tones. Yeah. Yeah. And then the pink, I think, the pink, I think, brings (laughs) out like the fun. Mm -hmm. But also that's to me, are colors emotional to you? They can be. Yeah. To me, color Mm -hmm. brings like a lot of emotions. So when I first started thinking of my cover art Mm -hmm. remember i wanted it to be like paint and all Mm -hmm. this like different colors and then i went the natural route Mm -hmm. but colors still make me feel like i don't know i think it's all under your um like your branding like it all makes sense together at the same time because pink to me is like because i do well i mean hair colors by like an era yeah so like you had had pink hair yeah when i had my pink hair that was like my like fun anime poppy like oh that's me now era exactly that's where you're at you're like (laughs) I'm that. Sailor Moon. Or what's her name? Chibi Moon. Chibi Moon. Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm literally <laughs> Chibi Moon right now. I love it. The way you had your hair the other day. Oh, my God. Everything. It was so cute. I had it in piggy tails. Mm-hmm. Piggy tails. I don't know why I said it like that. Pigtails. Mm-hmm. Um, and it, yeah, I literally look like, if you know Sailor Moon, you know who she is. You should see my desktop on my computer. Because, you know, okay, I don't know if you guys are like this, but I'm the type of person that with whatever aesthetic i'm in mm. i have to change my desktop to match <laughs> <laughs> i have to i or like i just it doesn't work mm. 
I changed all of my desktops and all my icons to Sailor Moon icons. Oh, I love that. <laughs> yeah, you would like it. I'll show you later. But <laughs> it's so cute. And like I, I was showing Peter. I'm like, it all happened so fast. <laughs> and I'm like, it took over real fast. But I feel like pink hair changes everything. Like mm-hmm. even we, what we were saying um, yesterday, how like now you can't wear certain colors or you feel like you yes. can because of the hair. Yeah. Some colors don't mm-hmm. vibe with it. And then even now, I don't know if you're using a new lip color, but it looks <gasps> more pink now. Thanks. It just yeah. matches. It's the same one I always use. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. House Labs. Hi, Gaga. <laughs> hey, girl. I'm glad you got your dog back. Oh, my God. I'm so. <laughs> wasn't that so sad what happened to her dog walker? Yeah. I was just um, reading about it this morning. Some news article said she got him back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. I returned him. I'm just kidding. No, I was like, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Like, all jokes aside, I'm so happy that the dog walker and the dogs are okay. Oh, the dog walker's okay? Yeah. Oh, I didn't see any articles about him. So yeah. I didn't know if. He, wasn't he got shot. I know. I'm like, oh my God. And then she posted that thing being like, oh, you'll always be a hero. I was like, did he die? <laughs> <laughs> he okay? no. He's okay. okay. Yeah, he's okay. <laughs> but still, like, I don't want to be shot, you know? Dude, I was talking um, this morning about how she had to have been stalked for them to yeah, like to get, know to get those dogs do you think that like they just try to kidnap random dogs or they knew it was lady gaga's dogs? no you would have why would you steal a random dog you know what that's i mean true. like they you had know, to people know, are crazy on the streets of la yeah you would have to have known that those were her dogs to get like a ransom or like what other reason would you steal a dog for yeah. a random dog from like a random person on the street yeah they knew what they were doing yeah ew don't and be then, like that guys and then she well i don't know but i i feel like she doesn't have a house in hollywood where it happened so yeah. it's like they she had to know yeah they would have had to know what she was doing. Yeah. They knew she left mm-hmm. to go shoot her movie. Woo! Just be a good person, guys. Let's just not do all that violence and stealing and stuff. Yeah. Don't choose violence today. Don't choose to steal <laughs> dogs. Especially not Lady Gaga's dogs. Yeah. Don't choose it. <laughs> <laughs> choose to be a good person. Are you saying that because of me? The whole choosing? Or maybe that's something I don't say out loud. Do you, I don't know. Do you I know? S- somebody posted on their story the today. They were like, if I ch- choose violence today, this is why. Oh. And I thought it was funny. So I started saying it. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> no. So somewhere in my healing journey, I realized that I'm the one who decides to be happy. Yeah. And I'm the one who chooses to be happy because, you know, there's days where you're sad. Mm-hmm. And obviously, yes, you have to be sad sometimes to mm-hmm. get through it. But oh, I guess it was more so I was like. I didn't realize I was hot. Mm. And then I think I saw a quote that was like, you decide if you want to be hot. Yeah. If you're, if you decide to be hot, you are hot. Mm-hmm. I think, yeah. That's why I'm like, are you saying that because of me? <laughs> well, I remember when I worked in retail, before we would come in, one of the basic lessons was you can choose your attitude. Mm. So like you may have all this stuff going on outside of work, but when you're in work, you can choose to have a better attitude. Yeah. And that's always like stuck with me ever since then. So now I know if I go into any situation, I can choose mm-hmm. to either be upset about what's happening with me right now or I can choose to be in this place and be in a good mindset see I wish I knew that before I don't know why I just learned that Mm -hmm. or maybe I always knew and I just didn't really understand Mm -hmm. the concept where it's like no it's my decision Mm -hmm. I think maybe before too it's just like I always you know in the world of social media I seek validation yeah I'm like do you think I'm hot Mm -hmm. and it's like you can tell me I'm hot all day and I still won't feel hot Mm -hmm. but it's like no I have to decide I'm hot It's true. I think with everything that's happened, like in quarantine and stuff, I've like had to go like in deeper and more spiritually. And I'm, I'm finally like realizing like I get to choose what's happening in my life. There was another thing that somebody said the other day. They were like, well, this is kind of like the opposite, but it's like you can't control anything else in your life besides how you behave and something else. Uh But it's like how you behave and something else. But then I was like, that's so true. It's like you. It, Maybe but it's how you feel too. Something. Well, it has to do with how you feel. Because along the lines, it was like, you can feel a certain way, but you don't have to behave that way. Oh, I see. I Cause see. Because I notice sometimes if I don't feel that great <laughs> and I behave in a bad way, mm-hmm. but I'm like, no, no, I can choose my behavior yeah. even if I am feeling a certain way. Oof. You know? I needed to hear that today. Yeah. <laughs> It, it hit I feel me like hard. you and I are very reactive mm-hmm. to our emotions. Yeah. If we're mad, we're fucking mad. Yeah. If we're sad, we're sad. Mm-hmm. And everyone knows we're sad. And I can't hide my facial like emotions. Same. So you'll see it. Yeah. Like like that one time we did the shoot and I was just like <laughs> the entire time. It's like, oh my god. <laughs> I don't even want to go into that. <laughs> That's a whole nother story. Yeah. yeah, I do agree, like knowing when to react and when not to react. Because I think it is good to feel your emotions. Mm-hmm. Cause like ugh, this is one thing I wanted to talk about. Are you sensitive? Do you think you're sensitive? Because I'm I, sensitive. I think I'm sensitive to things. I don't mm. think that I'm like, like, I know that I'm like strong and like I can take a lot of stuff. Yeah. But I feel like I'm sensitive to certain things. Yeah. If that makes sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you let your emotions take over? Yeah, for sure. Okay, yeah. But I'm learning to now to just feel them mm-hmm. and then shot. Put, and then, There's yeah, <laughs> literally take a shot, feel them. Okay. Um, to feel my emotions and then to put them in a logical 
thing more so mm. like why am i feeling this way yeah, yeah yeah i'm feeling this way because of this you're and thinking then, it through first yeah mm. i will react which is i'm trying to get better at it yeah i'm trying to more so react on my own yes and like give myself a hissy fit and then get over it in like 20 minutes and yeah. then logically think about it and come back to the situation and then yeah. handle it as stuff yeah <laughs> i'm learning more and more to not it's so weird because it's good to react it's good to have feelings but mm-hmm. it's you just know need to know when to react okay i guess when I, now whenever i have an issue instead of like just running to someone and telling them everything mm-hmm. I write it down. Mm-hmm. Something happened the other day and I literally like went to the bathroom and I like journaled on my phone mm-hmm. just to get it out because I was, you know, mm-hmm. working. So I didn't want it to blow up because mm-hmm. it probably had nothing to do with anyone else but me mm-hmm. in my head. So, yeah, I think just like finding cheat codes to yourself mm-hmm. and knowing how you will react and mm-hmm. knowing what will calm you down. Mm-hmm. Until you could go home and cry. <laughs> yeah, I need to do that. Because my first reaction always is to be like, if I'm feeling a certain way, then I feel like I need to express it. Like, I need to say it out loud. Mm-hmm. So then I'll, like, text you or Peter yeah. or somebody. And our, group, our friend group, we're very, like, I need to tell you every yeah. detail. Yeah. <laughs> So then, but I'm, but sometimes like, it's just how I'm feeling in the moment and I need to get it out. It's not exactly how things are or how I actually feel. You Mm -hmm. know what I mean? It's just in that moment. So I'm realizing I need to journal it before and logically think about it and like put it into actual words before I just spout off and I'm like, yeah, you know, no, for sure. Zach has been journaling. I have been journaling. Are you still journaling? Yeah. I journaled last night. I hadn't journaled since the 17th. Mm -hmm. So then, but I, I guess I just wasn't thinking about it. Mm -hmm. And then last night I was like, wait, I really want to journal, but it's weird because I read back on my stuff Mm -hmm. and the days that I'm not having like the best day I can write like two three pages mm-hmm. but then the days that i'm feeling really good i write like half a page yeah but that's okay but i feel like i, w- I want to put the happiness in there too a journal yeah. i don't think my my journal should just be like if i look back on it i don't want to just see the times that i was upset oh yeah oh i actually agree with that mm-hmm. there was a time so when i started journaling a few years ago it was the same situation mm-hmm. it was all negative i don't want my journal to be just where I put my negative, Mm -hmm. not negative, but like my bad emotions. Mm -hmm. It's like, I want to look back and remember the good things. That's why I started doing mood boards and vision boards Mm -hmm. because that was the way to put happiness back into it you Mm. know but do you like journaling now no i love journaling it's literally my favorite thing i'll turn on some like classical sounding music or (laughs) like academy dark academy themed music (laughs) or like some harry potter themed whatever i've been doing that lately too oh my god it's really good and then i'll just journal and it feels so good also too it's so good whenever it's like really fast in the song or like you can tell it's getting intense (laughs) and i'm like (laughs) (laughs) i love that in the headspace app and in the calm app their meditation apps Mm -hmm. um they have music in there like if i'm sad i'll put on sad music so Mm -hmm. i could get it like the full experience of like crying and like letting it out Mm -hmm. It changes it. I don't know. I'm, I, you know, we are connected to music yeah. really hard too. So I feel like us and music, mm-hmm. we we live in the moment with music. Yeah. So I was like crying the other day journaling because sometimes it's a lot. Mm. Life is a lot. No, for sure. <laughs> I've cried more this year already than I have in the past. You're not a crier. I don't cry like that. And I've cried yeah. like three times. Oh my God. And that's a lot <laughs> for me. In my mind, I'm like, I thought you meant like every other day, but you said three times. Not, no, that's good though. Cause yeah. I know you don't cry. I've seen him cry once and I've known you for like four years, four years. Yeah. I think that's the only time I cried. Yeah. I like, I don't cry like that. Yeah. I feel like I could never let myself be vulnerable enough with myself to do that. Cause mm-hmm. once I cried, I, then I knew it really affected me. Mm-hmm. And in my head, I would always be like, no, no, no. If I cry and I'm vulnerable enough to let this affect me, then it won. So mm-hmm. I'm not going to cry. But then this year, I was, I'm so like realizing things and I'm like, no, it's OK to cry because I'm letting it out instead of holding it in and letting it win already. Yes. If that makes sense. No, no, for you sure. Know? And I think it's just like you being OK with feeling, mm-hmm. you know, because I feel like maybe some are, are you avoidant uh, like to your deep, dark emotions and like trauma and stuff like that. Kind of. It's like it's more like I recognize it. And I'm like, okay, this is the problem. And then I throw it away. Mm. And I'm like, oh, that's what it is. Boom. It's gone. So you don't really like. But I don't solve it. Yeah. You don't, mm-hmm. you don't figure it out. Yeah. Yeah. It was more just like, I know I have this, but I'm not going to deal with it. Yeah. Because yeah, if yeah. I deal with it, then it's an actual problem. And it's and like. you don't want it to be real. I don't want it to be a real problem. Ooh. So then I just don't deal with it. But it's yeah. still there. I used to be like that. Mm. So that's why I'm like, I know exactly what that is. Mm-hmm. My new thing now. So, you know, I went through my healing journey. I'm still on it. <laughs> I thought I was like, oh, I'm good. N- no bitch i think i know it's a forever thing but like it hit me hard again i think now i know my 
when I'm triggered and I know when I need to deep dive back into mm. my healing journey. But yeah, before I always just avoided all the bad, you mm-hmm. know, because, you know, I'm positive. Yeah. I'm just like, no, 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 everything's fine. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. But now it's like a wound, right? Mm-hmm. You have a cut before I would just put a band aid over it. You know, mm-hmm. of course, like it just like hides it and it's like, oh, it's OK. It's still fine. But it still hurts because mm-hmm. I haven't fixed the wound. Mm-hmm. So now I'm taking off the band aid. I'm cleaning it with alcohol. Mm. I'm stitched. not with alcohol. <laughs> oh yeah. I meant like, I'm just kidding. you know, I know you healthy, yeah. I don't know, medical alcohol. Yeah. I know you mean. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Take a shot too. <laughs> <laughs> Clean it up, stitch it up, mm. treat it nice. Mm. And then it's like the scar is still there, but at least the, I looked at it because it's painful to put the alcohol on it, mm. you know? So like, it's painful to do that, but at least like you close the wound, the scar is still there. Like, you know that it still happened to you, but at least now you're just taking care of it, mm. you know? Oh, yeah. That's literally what my whole healing journey feels like. It feels like that. <sighs> Who knew that you were supposed to look at your problems? <laughs> um, no I, one told me that. <laughs> literally, I was like, oh, I'm just supposed to deal with it and then get rid of it. Yeah. I feel like growing up, I don't know if it was like our parents' generation or, you know, the older generation mm. to us i think it's a very asian household thing really where it's just like there's mm. nothing wrong yeah it's like you're supposed to you're not supposed to look weak when you go outside mm. and you can't look weak in front of your parents but you're you don't know how to handle it when you're alone you're yeah. just always supposed to be like strong perfect yeah, yeah. for everything Ugh. yeah hate that mm-hmm. <laughs> i wish i knew about healing earlier but it's crazy the kids nowadays like my little brother zach mm-hmm. baby zach mm-hmm. he's more woke than me like it's crazy like he knows how to take care of me whenever i'm sad now because mm-hmm. now i feel like very open to like be like oh like this is how i'm feeling and then mm-hmm. he's like it's okay like you're safe you know mm-hmm. i'm actually very very happy that this new generation is more woke mm-hmm. uh and willing to look at their mental illness you mm-hmm. know i think that's so cool i'm kind of jealous even though i'm still i'm on it now but I'm like, I wish we were on that. We were on that emo, like, I don't mm-hmm. give a fuck. I'm going to cry, mm-hmm. <laughs> you know? Well, I feel like that was the starting of it with, like, millennials. Because then it's mm-hmm. like, okay, we felt like this because we couldn't recognize it. Or our parents' generation couldn't recognize it. Yeah. So we started to recognize it. And then after that kind of came out a little bit, like, mental illnesses and stuff like that. Yeah. And it's more of, like, a mainstream thing. Yeah. Then Gen Z was like, oh, they see all the time now. Because yeah, yeah, they're either yeah. um, brothers and sisters to us yeah people's kids now yeah i agree with that Mm because i think baby zach seen me hurt Mm -hmm. growing up like he saw how (laughs) damaged Mm -hmm. if you will i was damaged 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 (laughs) (laughs) oh my god vanity cane hello Um, but we might have add too (laughs) oh i have a i'm uh diagnosed with adhd oh yeah that's what i meant Mm -hmm. baby zach told me he's like you might have adhd because i was just like squirrel squirrel Uh I have to look into that. That's a whole nother thing. (laughs) But yeah, I think baby Zach saw me struggling with my emotions growing up. So now he's very like, I want to help the world to be better. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, oh my God, I love you. What's interesting though, growing up though, there's been people who think, who thought I was like too sensitive or like too emotional. Like so many people have told me that growing up. And Mm -hmm. I think that's also one of the things that damaged me more because I'm like, mm-hmm. oh, I'm not supposed to feel mm-hmm. sensitive. I'm not supposed to feel any emotions. Mm-hmm. Joke's on them because that's the way to do it. <laughs> like you're supposed to, that's life. Mm-hmm. You're not supposed to hide it. You're supposed to feel everything and, you know, experience everything because that's how you grow. At least it was good for you because you could recognize your emotions and you could be sensitive on the outside and people could see that Mm -hmm. whereas mine was very like i didn't want people to see when i was hurt i didn't want people to see me outside Mm -hmm. of a certain way so then i wouldn't act that way but then when i would drink and then i would be all of a sudden be like oh i want to tell everyone my emotions because i have no filter when i'm drinking Mm -hmm. and then i would be upset and destructive that's when it would come out and not recognizing those emotions even though i would go into it in a happy place it being obviously being a depressant i would Mm -hmm get upset and that's when i would let you guys know those feelings yeah. and then it just looked bad all the time because then it's like oh it's he's chaos <laughs> it's, i'm crazy yeah <laughs> but i'm the same way i literally was the same way i think that's why i don't drink anymore like mm-hmm. as much i do drink for but now it's more fun mm-hmm. before it was to numb myself mm-hmm. you know literally like, i don't want to feel nothing mm-hmm. let's get wasted i don't want to you know i didn't care mm-hmm. but same now i'm more like now that it's I'm, crazy how far we've come i know like because now i'm like <laughs> oh i am in control i choose to be in control so I was like, I can be in control. I don't need alcohol to fe- to let my feelings out or to let myself feel out of control. If I feel out of control, I can be. Yes. Whenever I want in my own time. You know what I mean? Yeah. That kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. But even last time we went out, like it was a completely different 
way. Oh, that was fun. That was a fun time. <laughs> so it's like, that's completely different than any other time. Yeah. We've gone out. Yeah. <laughs> that was probably the best time we've gone out. Yeah. Because we drank and we had fun. Mm-hmm. It wasn't like drinking, like have this whole emotional mess, mm-hmm. you know? Even though yeah. I yelled at you, you know, you don't remember. But I was like, <laughs> <laughs> he was like, the next day he was like, I'm sorry I yelled at you. And I'm like, I don't remember you yelling. <laughs> I have literally no recollection. What is it? Recollection. Re- re- rec- recollection. That doesn't even sound right when you say it. Recollection. I don't remember. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you yelling at me, but that's so funny. You're yeah. like singing a song. I'm like, do you even know the words? <laughs> You're like, I'm trying. <laughs> yeah. So funny. <laughs> oh, my God. So I found this TikTok, right? Mm-hmm. I actually had this. I think I sent it to you a long time ago, but I wanted to talk about it. So she said, mm. people in your age group who did not experience life altering trauma absolutely had an advantage over you. Mm. Your brain was focused on surviving while they were free to develop and grow. You might feel like you are behind, but you were simply doing your best to survive. I'm pointing this out because me and Zach or Zach and I <laughs> proper, you know, yeah. <laughs> we both have similar trauma. Mm-hmm. Um, can I say? Yeah. Okay. One of our parents have passed away mm-hmm. um, when we were kids. Mm-hmm. Right. So I think that's why me and Zach get along very well. Cause mm-hmm. like, that's not the only reason we just love each other, yeah. but it's, it's something that we could like relate to. Cause not mm-hmm. a lot of people have this experience. When I saw that the first time I cried mm-hmm. cause I didn't realize, cause in my mind I'm like, Oh, everyone goes through stuff. But mm-hmm. I'm like, Oh no, 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 no. Like we had to work like way harder. Mm-hmm. Not saying that other people didn't, but like it was just different. Mm-hmm. You know, did you know that? Or like I, when you were younger? No, because even just recently, remember when I told you, it was like, I like came to the realization, I was like, oh, I act this way because I have abandonment issues. Oh, yeah. That's really what it is. I always just thought that either other people were always like that or mm-hmm. I was just extra like that. Yeah. It's you like, thought you were the problem. Yeah, I thought I was the problem. It's like, yeah. oh, no, I have these abandonment issues because I think that everyone's going to leave me and da 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 da. That same. I just thought that everybody else felt that way too. Yeah. And I was like, no, it would But then people, me. like, say you're in a relationship and you have abandonment issues and Mm -hmm. like you're laying it on them Mm -hmm. and they're not they don't have that so Mm -hmm. they think you're so clingy Mm -hmm. when it's like no 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 i'm just scared something might happen Mm -hmm. to you yeah that i had to go through that like a lot whenever my dad passed away i remember like i would call my sister nonstop Mm -hmm. if she left and like if she didn't answer i would have a full-blown panic attack Mm -hmm. and i then like you know obviously like it faded off i see that now in you know like relationships with friends Mm -hmm. and like you know when i do like (laughs) If I ever am dating mm-hmm. somebody, I could see how it would come up, you know, because mm-hmm. I'm just like, I what if something happens? Yeah. But isn't that crazy that like we didn't know that until like now? Mm-hmm. Mine and similar were like when I came home, I didn't know what was going to happen. Yeah. You know what I mean? I came home to it. Mm-hmm. So and it was unexpected. So me, I'm always just like, oh, that's, oh. that's interesting. Ours is opposite. Kind yeah. Of. So mine's always just like, oh, well, I don't know if this person's going to leave. I don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. Mm-hmm. So my whole thing every other day is like. I need the validation of you telling me yeah. that you're secure in whatever we're in for me to think that you're not going to leave tomorrow. Cause I always think that the next, like this could be my last time talking to somebody. Yeah. Even it could be all fine. Yeah. And it's all fine. And I'm still yeah. just like, they're never, they're not going to talk to me tomorrow. They're just going to leave me tomorrow. And I get scared. And that's why I get, I get scared to really open up. And that's why I, even before I couldn't, I didn't want people to see me in a certain way because if I wasn't strong, they weren't going to stay. Yeah. Oh, I just realized that just now oh. that just like all came out at once. <laughs> Aww. But yeah, it's weird that we didn't realize that till recently because it's like yeah. it would make so much sense. Yeah. Like I can think of so many instances now where it's like that's what that was. Oh, my chicka chee. My uh, KFC's here. <laughs> and we're back. And we're back. <laughs> we had to do a little snack break mm-hmm. because. <laughs> I was hungry, y'all. Anytime Zach gets KFC, he's so kind and gives me mm-hmm. a chicken tender, <laughs> which to me, that's so nice. <laughs> I mean, I know I'm not going to finish it, so yeah, I'm like, you can have me. it. The thing I want to touch on is like the whole survival mode thing. Oh, yeah. I didn't even know. Because, <laughs> you know, when you're in it, you don't know that you're in survival mode. Mm-hmm. But it's like, no, you're really in survival mode because you're trying to just like fix these emotions that you didn't even know. I really wish I went to therapy when I was little, like mm-hmm. when it happened. I'm well, going to start going to therapy though mm. which i think is going to be life-changing <laughs> so good for you because me and you look at therapy the same where we want to recognize the things yeah that like we want to know these things about ourselves and we yeah. want to recognize them so i've been watching videos on like relationship styles and like what kind of 
person you are in a relationship, mm-hmm. stuff like that. It's about are you following your intuition? Or are you going into survival mode? Mm. Which is kind of similar to the same thing of trauma. Yeah. So if say like me having the abandonment issues as well, being like, oh, I think they're going to leave. I'm going to say anything to keep them there so they don't leave. Yeah. That's survival mode. Yeah. That's not intuition. Yeah. Because you're mentally just are going in there and being like, this is what I have to do to make things right to whatever, whatever. Mm-hmm. And I feel like I had to go into survival mode to do that a lot when I was younger too, mm-hmm. to kind of like please people for it so they wouldn't leave. Interesting. Mm-hmm. And that was kind of like my survival mode, which yeah. is not yeah. okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's okay because you, you can't stop it. Yeah. You know, you went through it and it's just crazy to me. People who haven't been gone, who haven't gone through like, really bad trauma because like I feel like I've been through a lot of trauma Mm -hmm. (laughs) like whether it was like you know my dad passing or like my relationship or just like pure chaos growing Mm -hmm. up but it's crazy because it's just like oh I've turned out good Mm -hmm. you know so I think that is a choice Mm -hmm. you know you could go through like the worst stuff and you could still be a good person yeah I'm going back to all these sayings that I see online and shit but it's (laughs) I love it we've talked about it before where it's like you're not responsible for your trauma but you're responsible to fix it and heal from it yeah oh i think you sent me that i think i did yeah and it's like you and jesse my trauma friends yeah (laughs) my friends who went through trauma (laughs) you guys send me all the like good quotes i'm like yes you're right because it it is true it's like i can't really blame my mom or anything for anything that happened i mean i could but i can't but it's like it's now my responsibility to not let that affect the people around me or myself Yes. So now that's what I'm working on Period. trying to fix that so I can be better for not only myself, but everyone else around me. Yeah. At one point we're going to be in relationships. Mm-hmm. Hopefully. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> one day. <laughs> no, but one, I'm fixing myself for me mm-hmm. first and foremost. But, you know, I haven't been in, in a relationship in like 10 years because I want to traumatize from a relationship. But mm-hmm. also like I just feel bad bringing all my problems to somebody, Mm -hmm. even though, yeah, like some movies or whatever say like, no, no, that's what love is. You Mm -hmm. know, I don't want to do that. It's Mm -hmm. like, I want to be as prepared as I possibly can to go through life with Mm -hmm. this person. I don't want to bring problems to the person I love, you know? Mm -hmm. It's like, um, what's that movie that we watched? The crazy trippy one? Midsummer. Midsummer. Why would you bring that up? It's, it's like, scary. It's like Midsummer though, where it's like she was <laughs> talking to her scary. boyfriend as like a therapist. And it's like your partner um, isn't your therapist. Yeah. They're your partner. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like you can talk to them about anything, but it's like at what point does it Yeah. Do you need to go to a therapist? It's like I can't be crying and codependent and yeah. clingy to you because that's not a good relationship. Yeah. They don't have the answers. Yeah. That's yeah. like that's Unless what they are a therapist. Yeah. <laughs> and even though, if, even if they are a therapist, I don't think it's healthy to have That's your boyfriend true. as your therapist. That's true. I'm excited to go to therapy. I'm also very scared. I think I'm scared. But then it's like being scared and being uncomfortable is what makes you grow. Ugh. You know? God. I love how you, like, I tell you these things and you're telling me now. I'm mm-hmm. like, oh, you're right. But still. Yeah. Because that's me being scared mm-hmm. of seeing the problems, mm-hmm. you know. But I think it'll be easier once they're all laid out for you. Because it's like once you see them and, like, they're recognized. And it's like, okay, this is, I know now how I can fix it. Or I've seen it in this situation and this is when I can be better at it. Yeah, for sure. Because I'm doing that right now. I literally screamed at someone the other day because I was feeling bent up. (laughs) But then I'm like, oh, no, I need to not do that. I need to talk about it when it happens. Yeah. After I've logically like thought about it to make the situation better. Yeah. Well, I'm so proud of you. Honestly, (laughs) you just hand hug me. (laughs) Um, I'm honestly so proud of you, like to see how far you come. Even just like within the last few months, Mm -hmm. honestly, Mm -hmm. not saying you were bad before. You've always been like such a good person. I've known that. Yeah. But I feel like you were chaotic at some points Mm -hmm. and you know, I get it. Yeah. It's just crazy to see you grow Mm -hmm. and I live for it (laughs) and I'm happy because you, you always say like I helped a little bit. Yeah, for sure. You're like a big part of it, like a huge part of it. That honestly, I could cry thinking about that because that's all I want to do is just like help people, you know, like understand their feelings. Mm -hmm. But yeah, that makes me happy. Yeah. I love you. I love you. <laughs> okay, I want to ask you, how is your relationship with yourself? Ooh, is this like a one word thing or I can explain it? You can explain it. I think I'm my own big brother, if oh, that makes sense. Oh, okay. I, have to, I feel certain ways sometimes and I have to tell myself like, no, like you don't feel that way. You feel like this. Like I have to be my own Mary Lou sometimes. Ooh. Because I have to be <laughs> like, no, you think you feel this way, but you're feeling it this way because of this. Yeah, so yeah. you should probably try this. Wow, that's so good that you could do that to yourself. Yeah. Uh, for everyone listening, Mary Lou is my big sister. Mm-hmm. She is the ultimate best big sister ever. <laughs> All my friends like want Mary Lou as a big sister. And she is everyone's big sister yeah, too. Yeah, for but sure. That, I love that you use that mm-hmm. as an example. But that's crazy that you could do that to yourself because mm-hmm. I have to do that with my big sister. Yeah. <laughs> but I guess I am getting better at checking myself. Like she's trained me. Mm-hmm. She's trained me to like, l- like think about it. Like, but I'm just a very emotional person. She's 
she's emotional, but like all, she's way more logical than mm-hmm. me. She just like sees the bigger picture. And I think that comes with age too. I feel like me now, like last year, I was so emotional, did it like on my own. But yeah. now I'm realizing like, what's the bigger picture? Why? Like what actually comes out of me screaming, kicking and yelling? Yes. Nothing. It's like, yes. but if I scream, kick and yell for 20 minutes in my house by myself, it's fine. Mm-hmm. And then I think about, okay, this is how I'm actually feeling. I'm going to say this anyway, get that out the way and say how I can. That's going to make things better. That's what's going to make other people understand and myself understand how I work and how I think. I love that. You know? Mm -hmm. This was a good episode. Yeah, I love it. I love these talks. I have to come back for two or three more. Yeah. This is going to be like a more like, it's not like this is your first time and only time. Yeah. Like you could consistently come back. Oh yeah. I'm always going to come back. I'm going to at least get two episodes a season. (laughs) At least. Yeah. (laughs) I'm down. You could come every three episodes, you know? (laughs) Comment in the comment section down below if you want to see more of me or hear more of me. (laughs) Yes. Oh, well, thank you for listening. I want you guys to remember that you choose to be hot. (laughs) No, you choose to be a good person. You choose to be, to live a good life. You choose to, and deserve to be happy. Mm -hmm. And I love you. I love you too. Just remember, it's always okay to feel your feelings when you're feeling, <laughs> feeling, 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 period, per. Period per and um, and I love you guys. And I'm so thankful to be on your podcast. Thank Aww. you so much. I'm so happy to be here. Thank you. Thank so you good. for coming. You're my first guest. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah. <gasps> It's and the crazy. best. Oh, <laughs> okay, just kidding. Yeah. If you guys want to uh, follow Zach, his uh, handle on Instagram is at Zachary Edward. Mm-hmm. He does makeup, mm-hmm. and pff, I mean, to me, more he's a fashionista than anything. <laughs> yeah. ASO set him close. I know. I'm wearing it right now. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, if you want to see like sickening looks, make sure you go follow him at Zachary Edward, and make sure you follow Feelings, Feelings, Feelings at Feelings, 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 and follow me at Diazabel. And yeah, love you. Bye. 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 We did it. Thank you for listening to this episode of Feelings, Feeling, Feelings. I hope your feelings are feeling something right now. Make sure you follow at Feelings, Feelings, Feelings on Instagram to join the Feelings, Feelings, Feelings community. I just want to remind you, you are magical, you are beautiful, and I love you. Now go drink a glass of water and tell yourself you love you in the mirror.